It's a question we get often, what's the difference between Wharton and Columbia? Yeah, the programs are similar in many ways in terms of class size, a strong finance focus, the kind of students that attend and the path students take post MBA, but they certainly aren't identical. Hi, I'm Jeremy Scheinwald, founder and president of MBA Mission. And in today's video, I'll tell you a bit about these schools' commonalities and how they differ. And then it's up to you to decide which one you prefer. You might apply to both. To start, the applicants who get into both of these schools look a little similar. Their average GPAs come in at about 3.6 and GMAT scores hover around 730. Both accept the GRE, but CBS also takes the executive assessment. At Wharton, there were 6,300 applications for the class of 2024 and 877 students enrolled. CBS had 6,000 apply and 844 enrolled across both its September and January entry dates. At Wharton, the biggest group of undergraduate majors was in humanities and economics at 43%. That was followed by 30% coming from STEM and 27 from business. CBS had 46% coming from humanities while STEM accounted for 26% and business 33%, so some subtle differences. Where students work before school also kind of aligns well with financial services drawing the biggest numbers, closely followed by consulting. Tech backgrounds are more prominent at Wharton, while marketing media is a popular path at CBS. While these categories in toto make up at least 60% of the student body of both schools, don't think that you can't get in from other backgrounds. In fact, Having a unique career path pre-MBA can help you differentiate yourself in the competitive applicant pool. We've seen plenty of applicants come from teaching and nonprofit and retailing and more and have had great success getting into business school. So you shouldn't think that you must come from a predictable feeder path. You can still find your way into Wharton, Columbia from alternative paths. Wharton achieved a milestone in 2024. Half the students in its class are women. It's the first school to achieve 50% and 35% are international. At CBS, 44% are women and 51% are international. Something important to both schools is that they're making real efforts to improve their diversity. So Wharton will launch in 2023-2024 a new major concentration focused on DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, which will draw from courses in their Department of Legal Studies, Business Ethics, Business Economics and Public Policy, and of course their Management Studies. CBS has said it's committed to increasing its racial and gender diversity of its faculty and has worked to give students the essential skills for leading inclusively. One aspect of that is its new Phillips Pathway for Inclusive Leadership, a community-driven co-curricular program for its MBA students. CBS also recently joined the consortium, a group with a goal to enhance diversity at US MBA programs. Both programs are also situated in major US cities and use those cities as an extension of the MBA experience. They've also recently opened new facilities, the Manhattanville campus at CBS, serving as the new anchor for its MBA community and Tangent Hall, home to entrepreneurship at Wharton. Wharton also touts its West Coast campus in San Francisco, which is home to its second EMBA program, the other being in Philadelphia, and offers learning opportunities to full-time MBA students looking to build knowledge and connections in the Bay Area and Silicon Valley. While we've highlighted many similarities between Wharton and CBS, there are some unique aspects to each program that extend beyond their strength in finance. Wharton's full-time MBA program gets high rankings, as does its dual degree and specialized programs, including those focused on international business and law. The healthcare management program is among the best in the country, with 70-plus students each year from consulting, private equity, digital health, medicine, engineering, biotech, and more enrolling each year. Those interested apply directly to this program and often are required to do an additional interview with the program's head. Also, Notable is Wharton's marketing department, which according to the school is the largest, most cited, and most published marketing department in the world. So much for it being a finance school. Students interested in marketing find their way to consumer product companies, retail giants, as well as many of the big tech names. 
Wharton also was one of the first MBA programs to put a strong emphasis on fintech, with the 2019 launch of the Stevens Center for Innovation in Finance that supports research into financial technology. A differentiator for CBS is its January intake, whereby students begin their studies at the start of the spring semester, then do the summer semester and go right into their second year. This accelerated program best suits students who don't need an internship to help them reach their post-MBA goals. Many students in the so-called J-term come from family businesses, and they might be older and more experienced than those in the September intake, and there's a large international population. CBS's family business program is also notable in that it brings students together through clubs and coursework. Students have plans to enter their family business post-MBA, of course. CBS also attracts students interested in retail and luxury goods, as well as media, offering classes as well as strong career-focused clubs that connect students to the plethora of industry and companies in New York City. Both Wharton and CBS have lots to offer students and maybe more than some applicants even realize. At both schools, you'll find intelligent, diverse communities and dynamic cities and real opportunities for students to grow during their two years on campus. For more information on Wharton and Columbia, be sure to download MBA Missions Insider's Guide to these schools. You can find a link in the description below. And for one-on-one -on -one help with these applications or any others, sign up for a free 30-minute consultation with me or another admissions expert at MBA Mission. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for even more MBA admissions tips and advice. Best of luck with your applications.